Okay, we're on Moodle, building a template course from scratch, top blocks three. This is about how we're going to configure the course overall. We put the title, we created uh, three discussion forums, put this down near the bottom, put this uh, title, getting started, do this first here. Now we're going to add two labels. The first one will say, read and read, uh, 9%, review, these resources and I have a standard that I've been forgetting. I'm going to do read and review these resources and I'm going to put a horizontal line before that. I'm going to highlight this, make it bold, and I'm going to make it a... So I don't know if I need it to be a heading 2 or not. I may try a heading 3 and we'll go ahead and uh, pick, we'll just start with Roy G. Biv. Actually, no, read and review, I want them to stop. So I'm going to make that red. And I'm going to save that, see how it looks. And here it is. And I'm going to do another one. And we'll do um, perform. or do these activities, which is what we call everything in Moodle. Okay, I'm going to highlight that, put it as a heading 3, and put a horizontal rule over it, center it, and go in and make it green, because I want stop and go, basically. So that looks like a sufficient color of green. And save it. And I realize I got a couple inconsistencies. Uh, format is a little bit different. I think I had that as a heading two, so I'll make that heading three. We'll center it, and we're going to change that to be red because when you change the heading type, change that. And so now we have read and review these resources, perform and do these activities. The sizes aren't quite right, so once again, I have some kind of issue with this. I'll look at the code to see what's going on, and I have got these H3 and H2. So I'll start with the H3. I went in doubt. It's better to really start from scratch. I'm going to uh, delete. I've got too many H2s and H3s. Sometimes if you've made something something and turned it out to be something else and then come back, you're better off just starting over. Speaking of starting over, let me just do it that way. So I'm going to come back, put my horizontal line, put read and review these resources. I'll highlight that. I'll make it a heading 3. I'll center it, and I will make it red. I need to make sure I have the whole thing before I pick the color. And then hopefully that'll be just what the doctor ordered. There we go. So now from this point on, I put all the homework underneath, all the homework they have to do under the perform, and all the homework they need to read under the read. And to be truthful, I think we're better off not centering it. Right? So I'm going to go back and left justify. Just experimenting. And uh, with a little bit of time with Moodle, you get to where you can just experiment as you like. And now I'm in a position where I can begin to do all those things that they need to do at the very beginning of the class. And I think I'll get rid of this horizontal line because I've already got that other one. People always say, how do I get started? And really what I want them to do is get started with this. So we're almost now ready to begin doing all of those introductory assignments and things. So just a couple of notes. Um, obviously, I want them to have quick access to these. So what I'm going to do is actually make an HTML block. We'll get into that in a minute. What I'm going to do now is to um, get rid of these blocks so that I can kind of start with a fresh slate and think about which ones I want when I want them. So hopefully I can get rid of all of them before I run out of time in about 10 seconds. And we'll get us to just a nice, simple one-column layout. Some schools won't allow you to get rid of all of them. Now notice when I turn editing off, I now have basically a basic one column, no blocks, and we'll get to those in a minute.